Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Kogi here, and I figured that I actually do this. I was texting the guy back, but I'm gonna actually answer a question on live. So the question, I believe that it was says, hey Jeff, I'm not too tech savvy. As a real estate agent, should I do Instagram or should I do Facebook Live or what should I do in terms of business? And uh, that's a loaded question, right? It's not a fast yes or no question. First off is one, I think you gotta get wins, right? So um, one, if you're not getting wins and that's where the challenge is, right? Because if you're not seeing results and you aren't gonna see quick results, <sighs> the way I'm gonna tell you. So I try to mix it up with basically for people to get wins, right? Like for example, Instagram, right? I talk about this heavily right now, right? Instagram. Instagram is probably the only platform that you have where you can do hacks, okay? Hacks of outbound marketing, okay? A majority of the stuff you can't do. So here, let me draw this for you, right? So, so you have the ability to send a Okay, direct response type of message, right, in here to get what? Pay people to engage. Now, when you get people to engage, this is literally where it's kind of like the line of communication, right? And if you get this, this is where people are gonna say yes, right? I want to know more or they're not going to, uh, or they'll say no. But either way, they engage, right? Meaning that they engage, because because if you do a direct response, so how do, what am I talking about? So if you're on Instagram or something like that, right? I talk about this a lot. You can use something called Instagress to do outbound comments, okay? Comments, and you can focus on, I have a total you know, blog I did about this, so you can talk about this, and you can automate it in a way where it's doing outbound comments to actually go after individuals, listen to the podcast, and you can see, and then you can wait for people to say yes. If they do, great, keep on communicating with them. If they say no, be like, hey, if you know someone else that's looking to buy or sell, let me know, and you can communicate back and forth, okay? But this, in itself, doing this, shouldn't take that much energy, in my opinion. The point is, going back to as I texted this guy back and I said, hey man, it depends on what your strength is. Like number one, I don't blog as much, right? So I have other people who actually physically blog. I'm stronger on video and or audio. So I do a podcast and I do video. So if you are stronger on those compartments, then I recommend individuals to start with that first, right? But really at the end of the day, you know, doing these hacks, right? Like even paid advertisement, right? Like you can learn how to take advertisement and be able to get leads online, like on Facebook, right? But if you don't have a long-term strategy, which is to turn you into a local celebrity and to build an email list, right? It's going to be long lived, right? Same people that, that use like SEO hacks on Google and or PPC hacks on Google, right? Like they've used it, but then the cost just keeps on going up because the market gets saturated and the cost just keeps on going up and the same thing will happen in in Facebook as well versus like building an email list like for example my constituents let's just call it right that are in the real estate space and are struggling to get deals and stuff like that right um, I have a competitive advantage why is because I have a digital marketing agency and by me actually teaching stuff right people send me deals all right. Not only that, but other clients of mine that I work with gives me really, really a grasp of what's happening in the marketplace. Okay. And plus, I have a huge following and an email list that I can actually market to for other things, right? So again, that gives me a competitive advantage. So in your case, if you're starting off, I say do all of it, but be smart on which one to start off with and you know, figure out, do you like audio? Do you like video? Do you like you know, the automation component? Um, and start with that, right? Now, number one is you gotta get comfortable um, with it and um, is understanding the platform. I think it really is key. And especially if you're playing for the long call where you want to be in this business even the next real estate correction regardless of when you think that real estate market correction is going to be you think it's going to happen in the next four years you think it's going to happen after the you know uh, 2022 or whatever right depending on you know where you're at where, what do you think you got to know the game you know it's one of those things that you got to learn and I think the first step in doing that is one I think removing that label of saying I'm not tech savvy same thing as me like English is a second language for me I learned Japanese first right so for, for a very long time I didn't I'm still to this day very very embarrassed to go on video okay and even doing like a podcast one of the I have this psychological thing in here because certain words I know for a fact I butcher it okay and I say it in the wrong way or you know, poor grammar or something why is because of my 
my brain is going way too fast and English is my second language so sometimes I see in the comments right like people write nasty stuff you know especially I've done webinars where people says you know hey you're a foreign you're a foreigner you know like hey I can't believe you can't even talk right or hey you know your spelling is off or something like that right and people give me a lot of crap you know for it um, why is because that's not my strength right but I still you know I still just do it why is because I think I can help more people other than the fact of just physically you know doing it but really I hope that answers the question on hey what should you do should you do Facebook live 100% I think you should do Facebook live um, it is a huge trend that's gonna happen I for one will do Facebook live and I'm setting up a studio in my office to actually do that and once that's done we'll be we'll be streaming more and that's why I'm doing this one is I'm practicing a lot more so I can do this as well as once we have the studio done we'll be able to do all kinds of crazy stuff I think we're in a renaissance on video again you know, I started off doing YouTube videos um, in the real estate space did really well doing that but I think we're gonna get into again another renaissance of the live streaming component and I think those who hop on early or those who actually master the live stream component will have a competitive advantage in the marketplace matter of fact I talked to uh, I talked to my buddy Jason about this uh, yesterday right we're testing out some couple stuff with different softwares on how we can actually do all kinds of super cool stuff uh, using Facebook live and I'm, I'm really really excited on the speed of what's happening and what's going on so so should you do it? Yeah, but you got to master one thing at a time and then start with that and uh, um, go from there. So hope that answered the question. That's all I got for you. This is Jeff Com signing out. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.